Been doing a lot of coverage on the region's flooding, and it sounds like that's not going to stop anytime soon. No, we are still headed for some additional peaking on some of our rivers and lakes across the region. It's the subject of tonight's forecast focus, and we are still uh, once again seeing things on the rise on the Okanagan and Pend Oreille rivers, expected to be in the major flooding category again as we get into uh, the Memorial Day weekend. And with uh, the Okanagan peaking just below its two previous peaks, but still in the major flood region. Meanwhile, the Pend Oreille River continuing to go at a trajectory that takes it above the levels of 2011 flooding, and that will keep on going through the holiday weekend as well. Meanwhile, minor flooding forecast on Lake Pend Oreille and the Stahican, with many other rivers near flood stage, and everybody as a bank full as we continue. Continue to melt the snow. This is the snow cover today, and we still have a lot of snow to melt. And mainly, we are looking to British Columbia and western Montana, the snowpack there feeding the headwaters of those rivers that are running so high. And we are going to do a lot of melting this week as temperatures go well above average. We are going to be in the 80s for the next few days. Here's a look at our satellite and radar. We have this convection to our south and we are just on the very northern northwestern edge of this we will continue to see this moisture feed into the region with thunderstorms producing heavy rain uh, most likely to the south and east of Spokane tomorrow where we'll see the sunshine but will become a little more widespread on Wednesday here's a look at our national satellite and radar couple areas of severe weather today not so much in tornado alley they're getting a nice break with clear skies, but in parts of Ohio, a number of severe thunderstorm warnings in effect there and down in New Mexico. Severe thunderstorm warnings there as well today as moisture feeds into the Four Corners region. And again, we are just right on the extreme northwestern edge of that. High temperatures across the nation today looking very much like Summer is getting ready to start. Look at all the 70s, 80s, and even 90s across the region. 97 in Phoenix today. It was 72 in Seattle and Portland. They are having unusually warm, sunny Mays there. It was 80 in Minot, 79 degrees in New York City, and 82 in Washington, D.C. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast. Tomorrow, mostly sunny skies with some clouds building up in the afternoon. Chance of showers and thunderstorms Wednesday. We're going to stay in the 80s through Thursday. More unsettled weather Friday and Saturday. In all th three cases where you see those showers and thunderstorms on the graphic, that is afternoon and evening convection. Memorial Day is Monday, and right now it looks like it is going to be sunny and warm for Sunday and Monday. Nadine? All right, thank you for that, Chris.